Hi guys, Chris from High IQ, um, or if you like, AboveUnity.com. Uh, this is my, or this is at least an experiment I've done with the rotary transformer um, in replicating Bradley Richard Atherton's uh, machine. Um, he, it, I recommend go back, read all the posts, read all the original posts. It makes much more sense when you go back and read them. But he came out and agreed with everything that I've been trying to share um, and then retracted it. Um, now it's, it's just silliness because he uses bucking coils. I've been trying to introduce bucking coils for five or six years or so. Anyway, uh, that's a mute argument. This is my setup. It's an old washing machine motor. Um, this coil here, it's basically just wrapped around just the, um, the stator there. Uh, introduces a magnetic field. Now the brushes and the coils are in series so when the brushes make a connection the coil um, is also connected. Um, it injects a very small magnetic field into the uh, into the stator. Um, it's a bit of a mess I need to clean it up but basically input wires from my PSU uh, 10,000 UF cap I got two diodes on it, not using this one. Um, positive into here. I got a 12 volt globe, automotive globe. Um, negative outside this side of the diode. Uh, now we're sharing a common ground. Common ground is on the negative terminal of the cap. A common ground is actually grounded through the scope at the moment, which is absolutely terrible, but it works. Um, so the the MOSFET um, gate, green cable to here, you can see MOSFET, uh, it's got a Zener diode, a couple of diodes in there, so I've just got a 20 ohm, 20 ohm resistor, a 1K resistor, there's a pull down resistor, and then back out, so <coughs> this cable here is from our PSU positive into our FET, back out back out into our um, uh, stator coil over here. Uh, now one stator coil is powering the load, which we'll see in a minute. Uh, one stator coil is being shorted directly across the input. Uh, now the timing of this, um, I will show a little bit more of the timing of this a little bit later on, but um, it, it shows an effect. This particular effect is not over unity, but you can see some some pretty amazing effects in here. It's pretty cool. So we'll start with it going. So 15 at 1.2, 1.3 roughly. Uh, you can see the load is reasonably small, but it's, it's, it's at least glowing. There's at least a little bit of power there, so there it is working. Okay, you can hear the noise. Near the speed, not very fast, but it's working. Waveform, so the top waveform is across the cap. Bottom waveform is the trigger signal to the MOSFET. Okay, and you can see when I when I take the power to the MOSFET, when I take the gate to the MOSFET, if I take away the switching, if I switch the switching off, you can hear it speed up draws more current, speeds up. Now an interesting effect is if I try to reconnect the MOSFET again, it, um, it overloads my PSU. Okay, now in my experience that's a telltale sign of a whole bunch of power coming right back at you. Uh, now normally uh, to overload the PSU, <coughs> it's rated at 40 amps, uh, 15 volts. So to overload it would require more than that. So you can see bucking coils do work. This effect is plainly visible. It's so basic, so straightforward, it's just not funny. I'll put a circuit up um, so that it's a little bit more obvious to people soon. Uh, I'd like to keep this video private just for the meantime, just for members of the AboveUnity.com forum.
worm. I don't really want to share it with anyone else just at the moment. Uh, later on, after maybe we have some progress made, maybe we can start sharing a little bit more information then. Anyway, I'll get this up and you guys can see what you think.